day four. Um, today was a weird day. Um, it seems like whenever I'm around other people and busy, I don't think about Tuesday very much. But the second that I find myself alone, it's like right there. And it really is a roller coaster, you know? I refuse to let myself think the absolute worst just yet and I won't let anybody say it either <laughs> even though I know that's what everybody's thinking the big T word the big C word we're not thinking about that um, but I decided for this video we're going to play with that a little bit because I think I have to be able to acknowledge every possible outcome in order to actually be ready to hear whatever is going to happen. Um, not that you can really prepare yourself for something like that, but at least this way I can already really have been through the motions of it. Um, so let's say that the news is bad. Let's go extreme extreme and say what if they were to tell me that there is a huge tumor and it's past the point of operating and it will most likely be terminal. Let's just say let's say that they gave me one year to live what would I want to do in that one year I'd want to go to Australia I'd want to go see the Ellen DeGeneres show and dance. I'd want to go to the mall and buy the most expensive bra I can think of and put it on my credit card and not pay it off. I'd want to do karaoke go to Ireland go to Africa fly out to BC and see my friend for her wedding I'd like to write a book fall in love get married and have a baby <laughs> and that sounds completely crazy because why would you want to bring a kid into the world knowing that you're leaving it it's pretty selfish maybe but one of my dreams ever since I was a little girl was to be a mom I've always wanted to be a mom I'd want to rent a car and go driving for a week and stay in really cheesy motels. I'd want to get in touch with everybody who I've lost touch with personally. I'd want to fly out to Alberta, see my old pastor, Gord. and just talk to him like I used to. I 
I'd want to take all my videos that I put up on YouTube and put them on a DVD and burn it for everybody in my family. I'd want to go to Nashville. Oh my gosh, I want to go to Nashville. I'd like to see my Clubby Smith in concert one more time. I'd like to find the Ontario Provincial Flower, the Trillium, and pick it. Even though it's totally illegal and get me arrested. That'd be fun. So maybe I want to get arrested. <laughs> But after thinking about all of that, I have to wonder, why haven't I done much of that now? Aside from picking the provincial flower. <laughs> I want to get a tattoo. Why haven't I gone to get my tattoo? What is stopping me? You know? I even know what I want. I can visualize it. And I know where I want it. And <sighs> Why are we so scared? to do the stuff we dream about doing. Why, wh why are we so scared? Why can't we just do it? Before we run out of time. Why can't we just live every day like it was our last? Ugh. Let's get off the morbid train. I have a really packed weekend coming up. It is 10 to 1 in the morning. I have to be up in eight and a half hours. I have to go back to work. I'm working 11 to 3. I'm coming home, showering, changing. And at some point tomorrow night, I'm going for Thai food with Andy, the king of solitaire showdown. I'm not afraid of you. And then Sunday, my mom and I are going downtown. We're going to go see the Santa Claus Parade. It should be really fun. And that's really super duper early. So I'll probably come home to bed after that. <laughs> and then it'll be Monday. And Monday will probably be a really wacky day. <laughs> Just knowing that the next morning is is a big deal. Speaking of, I need to call <laughs> my doctor and confirm my appointment. So I better go do that. So I hope everyone's having a really good weekend. Have fun. Go do something. Knock it off your life list. You got the time. Tick something off this weekend. <laughs>